peace everyone, and thank you for coming back. By the even, and the odd. The binary numbers. 0 and 1. If you haven't been here before, then let me inform you, that ever since 40 years ago, the Almighty Creator, has been revealing to us his mathematical miracles, in the Arabic Quran, with the help of computer, which was built on the basis of only two numbers. The binary numbers. And that is one of Allah's, or some oaths, in his Arabic Quran. As Allah swears, by the even, and the odd. You may review, all of those 1500 pages of scientific reports, at, messageofgod.com. By the way, have you seen this new action movie, Furious 7? She says in there, life is binary, 0 and 1. As you know, these days our life is depending on these two numbers, the even, and the odd. Let me first tell you about that number 10, which we talked about it in the last tape. I was informed about mathematical confirmations about number 10, in the Arabic Quran. As you know the Arabic Quran contains, the literary composition, interlocked, with the hidden mathematical composition. From the mathematical composition of the Arabic Quran, we found out, that, tenth lonely, prime number is, 97, and Zura 97, is the power. It thus, says, that it was revealed, in the powerful, night. That was, when the angels and Ru, came down in order to take Prophet Muhammad's soul to the high heaven, in order to meet with Allah. Then, tenth prime number, is 29, and in Zurah al fatiha there are 29 words. Then, we fall prostrate, after that, as it is the revelation of the Arabic Quran. And if we subtract number 10 from 29, we get 19. Tenth Gaussian prime number, is 67, and 19th prime number, is 67. Over it is 19. And the 10th initial Zura, is, 19. The word 10, has been repeated, 18 times in the Arabic Quran. In sure Allah the Almighty, Allah gives us the hikmat about the number 10, at the right time. And number 10, contains, 0 and 1. Subhan Allah. Now, so called Muslims, came up with, 2 and half percent zakat charity. Although, Allah, asked them, to follow from all of those scriptures. Yet, somehow, those illiterate mollas, checked the Torah, and the Angeal, and they found out that zakat charity has been written as 10%. But, they all decided that Allah made a mistake, and it has to be 2, and half percent, according to their own calculations. Therefore, disasters are not going to stop coming down on them, because of stealing 7.5% from Allah. It is amazing. Therefore, here is another number 10. Subhan Allah. Which makes it, a total of 19 times. Once again, the Almighty Creator, has shown us, another or yeah, in the Arabic Quran, regarding prostration, after reading the Quran. Here is or yeah, 15 of Zura 32. Only those who believe in our Oyat, who, when they are reminded of them, fall down prostrate, and praise their Lord, and they are not proud. Thank Allah for his unending hikmat. The word, vakil, meaning, attorney, or defender, has been repeated 24 times in the Arabic Quran. And most of them says, Allah is the attorney of everything. Or, Allah is the best defender, for the believers. And believers are totally depend on Allah. Now, I am sure you have experienced some injustice in your daily life. Someone cut you off on the freeway, or hit and run, or some people plot a sedition for you, or someone is backbiting behind your back, or spying on you, or, lying to you, or bothering you with no reason, and so many other things. Yet, in all of those cases you were not able to do anything. Allah is saying, that do not worry, I am your attorney 24 hours a day, and I will take care of them for you. Then, you might see somehow, that, the one who just cut you off on the freeway, is getting a ticket for some other reasons. Or you might see on TV, that the one who hit someone's car, 
has been cut by police. Or, you might find out that the one who planned a sedition on you, is having a cancer, or committed suicide. Or, the one who was spying on you, has been afflicted by some disaster, and so on. Believe me, I have seen people who were having accidents, cancers, hitting by disasters, and so many other problems, only because, they were bothering innocent believers. And if you have not heard any problems or disasters coming down on those who were bothering you, just wait a while. Plus, on the other side they will get their terrible consequences. As we read in the Arabic Quran, those who bother the believing men and the believing women, whom did not do anything wrong, have committed a falsehood, and a gross sin. Or, he says, surely, those who plan a sedition for believing men and women, then fail to repent, have incurred, the retribution of Jahannam. They have incurred the retribution of burning. And then, at the end, he says, it is our duty that we grant victory to the believers. So, if you are a believer, you should not worry about anything. Because, your attorney is constantly defending you, and protecting you, without even you know anything about it. That is why, Allah says, that he is, the best avenger. And Allah says, to the Bani Israel, do not take anyone, as attorney besides me. As we read in Zura 3, or Ye 4. Those who disbelieve in Allah's Oyat, they incur severe retribution, and Allah is the Almighty, the Avenger. And Allah is keeping track of everyone's account. Allah is sufficient to keep accounts. That is why, we see disasters coming down upon people, as the consequences of their wrongdoings. And these days, we are witnessing so many of them on news media every day. Tornado, flood, fire, polar vortex bringing cold weather, earthquakes, tsunami, bombing, killing people by drones, terrorism, airplane crashes, processed foods, foods contaminated with poisoned chemicals, homelessness, hunger, homosexuality, AIDS, adulteries, fatherless children, and so on. These disasters are coming down on us, as the consequences of our bad deeds, and rejecting Allah's mathematical signs in the Arabic Quran. The Almighty is counting everything we do. And his angels are the ones in charge of these disasters. Although, he forgives many of them. Now, let me ask you this question. What kind of wealth, is totally lawful, as far as Allah is concerned? Do you know? Let me give you a hint. This is the only wealth, which Allah wants you to save, as much as you can. This is the only, lawful bounty, and fortune, which Allah encourages you to have. And if someone wanted to get married with you, because you being so rich, with this kind of wealth, go for it. Do you know the answer now? Here is the answer. That would be, the hidden hikmat, in the Arabic Quran. As we read in Zura 2, or year 269. Allah gives hikmat, to whomever he wills. And whoever is given hikmat, indeed, he is given, an abundant, wealth. And no one will consider, except those who possess intuition. As you might know, hikmat, is the especial knowledge in the Arabic Quran, or other scriptures, in their original languages. Do not get confused with the knowledge, which we learn at schools. Here is another awesome hikmat. In Zura 11, or yeah, 14, Allah says, But if they do not respond to you, then know, that the Arabic Quran has been sent down with Allah's knowledge, and there is no Allah, but He. Will you then submit? As you see, it says, that the Arabic Quran was made with the knowledge of our Creator, Allah. But, those translations of the Goron, have been made with the knowledge of the translators. Now, you tell me. Which one of them are you going to study? Let me tell you an important fact. You can study the Arabic Goron, but you cannot study a translation of the Goron. Yet, you just read a translation, because someone else already studied the Arabic Goron, and found out the meanings of those Arabic words as Allah inspired him, personally. 
this is very important. Because, Allah inspires us according to the specific soul, assigned to us. That is why, you cannot find two persons, having exactly the same idea, about some oyat, of the Arabic Quran. Do not think, that the Arabic Quran will be revealed to you, by sitting around, and looking at the cover of the Arabic Quran. That is how so called Muslims do. They put the Quran, on top of a shelf, and they think it is going to protect them. It is just like looking at some raw meat, or chicken, and some vegetables, expecting to satisfy your hunger. Yet, Allah gave us brain, and He expects us to use it. And He gave us the knowledge of how to use, a pen, writing, and reading, as in just few first revelations to Prophet Muhammad. So we could read the Arabic Quran, and look up the meanings of the Arabic words in a dictionary. Then, Allah will teach us, which one of those meanings to choose. And that has to do with your innermost soul. That is, if you have a pure soul, or polluted soul. Then, you write it down with your pen. Because, no one can hack into your pen, and paper. Therefore, the ones who are reading a translation of the Arabic Quran, they are actually reading a Quran. Besides Allah's Arabic Quran, and that would consider as a shirk, or idol worship. That means, they believe that there is another Allah, besides Allah, as the above Oya says. Then are you going to submit, or you just want to read those translations? If the Almighty Allah wanted, He could have sent the Goran into all of those different languages in the world. Therefore, that makes Dr. Khalifa, a prejudiced person, because he cared only about the English speaking people in the world. Yet, he was always reading the Goran, in Arabic language himself, or listening to the recitation of the Goran, in Arabic language. But, Allah wants us to use our brain, and translate the Arabic Goran for ourselves, so Allah could be the teacher of the Goran, and not those translators. The reason Allah chose the Arabic language is because, Arabic language is the perfect language among other languages in the world. And he repeated eleven times in the Goran, that this Goran, came down in Arabic language. And good for, you, if the Arabic Goran, is in your reach. Yet, some people love to block people from the excellent literary composition of the Arabic Goran, which is the excellent poetry, and also, it saw some hidden, hikmat. These people do not believe in, al Gorani, Vahdahu. Meaning, the Goran, alone. And there are some people, who fall in the trap of manipulation of number 19. They think anything divisible by number 19, is the proven fact from Allah. You never know, maybe pretty soon, they will come up with prayers like, before eating, at the family dinner table, they will hold hands, and they would count from 1 to 19, and then, they all say, Amen. And no one knows, where this meaningless world of, Amen, came from. In Surah 36, or Year 69, we read. And we have not taught poetry, to Muhammad. Nor does it befit him. This is not, but, a reminder, and a doubtless, Goran. Allah knows, and we know, that the literary composition of the Arabic Goran, is the excellent poetry, but, the reason he revealed it to Prophet Muhammad, was not because he wanted to teach him poetry. And as the Almighty Allah says, Muhammad is not able to be a poet. Yet, the reason Allah revealed the Arabic Goran to Muhammad, was because, he wanted him to be a Nazir, meaning, the one who makes a covenant. The same covenant which Allah made with Abraham, and the rest of the prophets of the nation of Abraham. And Allah expects us all to follow from those covenants, in order to have a happy life. Yet, most of the Middle Eastern countries, they just learned, poetry, from the Arabic Goran. Especially, Iranians. Almost every one of them writes a poem, sometime in their lifetime. And Allah says, only the deceived ones, who follow the poets. Yet, the majority of them, follow those poets who learned poetry from the Arabic Quran. That is why they are suffering from so many disasters.
Until the next tape, peace.